Charles Langley Crow's exploration of Malden and Brunnenburg, two old English songs of battle, delves into the historical and literary significance of these old English poems. Through meticulous analysis, Crow dissects these poems, offering a deeper understanding of their themes, structure, and cultural context. Crow begins by contextualizing the significance of these poems within the broader framework of Old English literature. He emphasizes the rarity of surviving texts from this period, highlighting how Malden and Brunnenberg provide invaluable insights into the cultural ethos and heroic ideals of the time. The poems, he argues, serve as windows into the Anglo-Saxon society, portraying the valor and ethos of warriors and the societal values inherent in battle. In examining Malden, Crow elucidates its portrayal of honor, duty, and loyalty. The poem, commemorating the Battle of Malden in 991 AD, captures the ethos of the warrior culture and the emphasis on loyalty to one's lord. Crow underscores the tragic sacrifice of Burtnoff, the alderman, whose steadfast commitment to honor ultimately leads to his demise. Through vivid imagery and poignant dialogue, the poem exalts the virtues of courage and sacrifice while lamenting the loss of a revered leader. Moving to Brunnenberg, Crow contrasts its thematic elements with those of Malden. The poem commemorates King Athelstan's victory in 937 AD and celebrates the unification of Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Crow emphasizes the shift in focus from individual heroism to collective triumph. Unlike Malden, where personal valor takes center stage, Brunnenberg exalts the grandeur of a unified kingdom and the broader implications of victory for the nation as a whole. Crow adeptly highlights the poem's propagandistic nature, glorifying Athelstan's rule and emphasizing the significance of the battle in solidifying his reign. Furthermore, Crow delves into the linguistic and structural aspects of these poems. He elucidates the distinctive features of Old English meter and alliteration, showcasing how these poetic devices contribute to the rhythmic and evocative nature of the verses. His analysis of the language and its nuances provides a deeper appreciation for the craftsmanship of these ancient texts. Throughout his analysis, Crow underscores the intersection of history and literary artistry in these Old English poems. He navigates the complex tapestry of cultural values, heroic ideals, and political propaganda embedded within the verses. Moreover, he sheds light on the challenges inherent in interpreting and understanding texts from such a distant era, acknowledging the gaps and ambiguities that persist despite scholarly efforts. In conclusion, Crow's analysis of Malden and Brunnenberg, two old English songs of battle, offers a multifaceted exploration of these poems. His keen insights into their thematic elements, linguistic intricacies, and historical contexts illuminate the enduring significance of these texts in understanding the ethos of the Anglo-Saxon world. Through his scholarly examination, Crow enriches our comprehension of these ancient works and their enduring legacy in the annals of English literature.